<clears throat> Hi, this is Susan, Oop. and I'm trying again to do this video setup. It's not quite right yet, but it might be better. Today I wanted to talk about and share with you my accordion style um, mixed media book. Now, you may be familiar with this sort of accordion style book in which the, the paper inside is folded, what they call it, accordion style, and then you put covers on the end. <clears throat> that is not the kind of book uh, binding that I have on this one. I learned this binding from Mary Bomar Richmond on Cape Cod, and I took a paper making and book binding class from her. Um, and I'm going to show you the binding using the sampler. This is the book we made in her class. We made our the paper and used that for the cover with a piece of cardboard in inside. The spine is the area. The spine is the area that is um, folded into the accordion shape. And then, as you see, this is the mountain, and on the other side, or you could probably do both sides, you then glue a piece of paper folded in half, the size of the page you want, and you glue that on either side of the mountain. So the final appearance is thus. Now, the reason I like this style of book is because the pages lie flat. So that makes it very nice for crafting. And here is the one that I recently crafted in. One problem with the style of... This is not really a tutorial, but one problem with the style you have to get the right weight of paper you, uh, to make the accordion binding or the accordion spine. You don't want to use like a lightweight computer weight pa paper that's too thin, but you don't want something too thick so that it won't fold and it will end up being bulky. Okay, so on my cover is purchased art paper. And for my interior pages, I just used scraps of Canson uh, pastel paper that I had around, so they're different colors and whatever. Um, I started out, or I, actually, I, this is not a one theme book. It's kind of scattered. So, but I do have three pages that refer to the family three and these are photos that I scanned onto vellum underneath you can see some writing that is paper from this book that I found at a yard sale and it was a log book of some organization in Boston the dates here are 1900 and forward, but I had more pages that were in the 1800, dated 1800s. So that makes, I've used this endlessly for collaging. And over here is my aunt, a photocopy of my aunt's monthly report. Can you imagine every month being evaluated at school? She got 97 and a half. Hmm. And here you can see kind of the difference in appearance of photocopying or scanning your photos onto like this is computer paper and this is the vellum. The uh, stenciling, I used, I purchased some placemats, this was quite larger, cut them up, 
and sometimes I use that for stenciling. I just use a stencil brush. And it makes a kind of fun stencil sometimes, depending on what you're doing. I don't know why I put it on this side, because I turn it. Okay, so here's um, a different theme. I guess the ocean or whatever. The fish. This is some art paper that I purchased. Oh, this also. And sometimes on a page I will print out on vellum one of my poems and then cut it up into lines. So this is the particular poem this is from is called Shelter. Between dunes and sound he built a cottage. He wrote of shore and sea, bird and fish, with a poet's fervor, a naturalist's eye. Now that is um, not the whole poem, but just a piece of the poem. Kind of refers to Henry Beston. The poem Shelter will um, soon come out in my book, In Different Light. My chapbook of poems called In Different Light. On this page, I had printed out from the internet a painting by a woman in Finland, and I cannot say her name. The girl with the blue girl with birds, it's called. So I put that on there and kind of played with the colors, and this is a little bird stencil that I did, and I kind of messed this side up, so I'm not sure if I need to do some more um, covering, manipulating over there. The leaf is wax coated to protect. Now these, it's so interesting doing these because like I hated these, this page originally. I just had this printout of my barn and this was a purchased photo that I photocopied of this woman with a cow and this piece of a handmade paper and then in black I had cow farm. I hated it. I just, it didn't work for me. And I can't remember what the first thing I did that changed all that is it might have been putting this second barn picture on. And then I dipped, had dipped some leaves in wax. I put those on and then I put a line from the same poem. The roof is limed with snow. So then I did all the silver dots with um, with a silver pilot marker. And then I ended up liking the page. So, the dual page. So, you never know. This is not finished. Some of you know, I, perhaps, that I stayed in a dune shack for a week in Provincetown in April. So, these are just printouts of the photos, a couple photos I took, and then I'm going to attach this somehow. Um, it's not finished, and I'm, I would love for people more talented than I to tell me how I might do those photos so they're not just blah, they're sort of blah. I'm not really, I meant to say at the beginning, I am not an artist, I am not a crafts person. I mean, I'm not a real artist, I'm not a real crafts person, I'm not a real poet. I'm just a person who makes things, so more for therapy therapeutic reasons, life therapy, art therapy, whatever. So here's another line, which it turns out it's all the lines I used are from the same poem. Tangled in leafless vines, the North Country cabin perches on the hill. Old photograph, not sure I like this, seems so formal, and the rest of the whole thing doesn't seem so formal. So we'll see. This is page that I actually reversed also because I liked it at first and I like that this goes here and this goes here. Now I dislike it intensely. It just seems too cluttered and you know I know I could paint over and rip off but I'm leaving it there for now. This page needs some more work on this. This is just a little pocket stamp Stamps are kept in these, or my father was a stamp collector, so I have some of these little envelopes from him. This is a letter. I actually picked up this series of love letters at a yard sale between him and her. It's kind of fun. 
and a um, little postcard picture, whatever. This last page again, I would say, I hate it. In the previous incarnation, I hated it. And I, it was about Paris, and I had Paris maps. I had neat things on it. Paris maps and a picture of uh, a cathedral, Notre Dame Cathedral, and a sticker here that said Paris. But it just didn't work for me. I just couldn't take it. So I ended up ripping, or wet, making it wet and taking everything, not everything, but lots of the pieces off. As you see, here's a bit of map still there. And then when I put this on, which I had fixed with one of these little doohickeys, and because the pages are double, you can't see the back um, where I fixed it. And this paper is heavy heavier than this so I thought that was a good way to attach it rather than glue but once I did that I kind of liked it and I kind of liked even just this appearance of this page so I don't know if I'll do any more on that or not and just today I thought this is not complete this last page but just today I had the thought that I would print out the whole poem from which I took lines and put that on the back. So maybe there is a sort of theme that travels through um, the book. Thank you for watching and I'm open for any suggestions anyone has either about photographing the, which I hope 